I used AI to win in Valorant. This is how I use AI to rank up to a mortal in Valorant in just three days. When I asked ChatGPT how to win in Valorant competitive, it told me to practice my aim, learn the maps, communicate with my team, play my role, adapt to my opponent's strategies, manage my economy, and stay positive. These are all super important, and you know what? I think it's right. How do I go deeper into this topic? I to think about how I could use ChatGPT to influence every decision I made, every win I had, every round I played. This is what I came up with. I decided every round I played, I would ask ChatGPT, a or B. This decided each round I would play and each site I would push. I then also asked it which agent I should play every game. Sometimes I get characters like Jet and Omen who I knew how to play very easily, and sometimes I get games where I played Cypher or KJ, which is a big struggle for me, especially in my Ascendant rank, where people know how to play each character. This led to some really awkward moments and some really funny moments, but surprisingly enough when I did this, I actually won every single game I played. I'm gonna be playing clips and highlights in the background while talking over them. See, this game, it gave me Neon, which is not very ideal because I'm not good at Neon, but all I did was E and B up around the map. And as you can see here, it worked out very, very well. I top fried this game and we won, and I got a very nice 3K to finish the game off. The next game I played, I got Raze, which was very ideal. I have probably 500 hours on a Raze so far in this game. So we absolutely dominated these guys on Pearl. You see here, many clips me using the Bulldog, the Frenzy, the Op, the Vandal, anything that doesn't matter. When you're playing Raze, you just get to go in super aggressively. If you guys are at lower ranks and you're playing super slow and scared, it don't be afraid. Okay, have confidence you're going to be able to win these gunfights. Look at me. I'm in a high-level lobby, and I'm just pushing very aggressively. Play more aggressively. I, I see way too many people baiting and doing this and that. Like, unless you're playing with a specific team with a specific role, don't be afraid to push. Don't be afraid to play aggressively. You might lose some rounds. doesn't matter. You will become a better player. You will win more games in the end, I believe, personally. You'll see in these clips. We're winning these games. This time, ChatGPT gave me Reyna, and I popped off. I actually top fragged, doubling second place of skills and combat score. We won 13 to 4 in this game. And you'll see me again playing super aggressively, running through smokes, pushing B man with the op. Even if I don't have a back out unless I kill someone, I'm just super confident of a player. You're going to keep seeing this. I'm going to keep playing super aggressively. I'm going to go for no scopes. I'm going to go for jump shots. I'm going to run through smokes. I'm going to run through flashes. Do this in your games, please. I promise you, you will get better. You will win. In this game, I got raised again. All I did this game was push. I'm telling you, I just kept pushing. I kept using double satchel lane. When you're playing raise on Haven especially, I like pushing through garage double satchel. You should learn the lineup on the top of a box to get all the way in the window. If you do this and you keep applying pressure with the Phantom especially, you can just run and gun people through garage all the way to B or C depending on where your team is pushing. You'll see in each of these clips, I'm always pushing through garage when my team is pushing C long. This gave us a nice little pinch effect on the C push. It allowed us to win almost every attacking round we played. Nice. Uh, this is my first jet game. And I got this after winning three games. So my rank was very close to Immortal. And I just saw that my communication uh, my team, my gameplay, everything was starting to click. You don't really realize this until it becomes really well done. How important communication is to you winning and ranking up. This is the first game where everyone was talking, everyone had clear comms, no one was talking about random stuff, it was all very clear. You guys need to communicate, I talked about this in my last video which I'll show at the end, but you guys need to be communicating a lot. It really impacts how you play the game. I'm gonna do a voiceover for the next three to four games all at once because what I realized is I did the same playstyle for each of these games. I actually used Omen and I used Rays and I used Neon and I used Sova and I used Fade. But you see, I play all these characters the exact same way. No matter what character I'm using, you see me lurking, you see me entry fragging. This kind of depends on the situation, but you'll see me entry fragging as Omen, as Fade, as Sova. It doesn't really matter what character I'm playing. I don't. I personally don't believe that your character decides everything. I did this challenge to prove this to myself that you can use any character for any role. You see me opping on Sova. You see me opping on Omen, and you see me pushing very aggressively. I wanted to show you guys mainly in this video that your character and your role don't really matter. What you, what matters is your mechanical and your game sense. I have enough game sense to know how to play each character, where people would be, how to aim. I'm very mechanically skilled when it comes to movement and aim and 
I, I just put these together. It doesn't really matter if I'm out of my comfort zone because I'm able to win all my gunfights or at least most of my gunfights. And I have enough game sense to support my team enough to point where we win. Look, you see me here on Omen? I Most of the time, I'll only use my smokes. I'll very rarely use my blind. I'm just not comfortable with it. I'm scared that I'm going to hurt my teammates with it more than I'm going to hurt the enemy. So I just stick with my gun. Yeah, we might lose some rounds where I should have flashed, but... It doesn't really matter. We're going to win more if I'm playing better at my own skill set. People should be focusing more on their own skill set compared to what their role is and what their character skill set is. I'm going to let the rest of these clips play out. I'm going to talk a little bit more at the end right before the final round where I actually have some impact because I feel like it's a really fun, interesting moment. I'm going to play some music in the background and I'm just going to make this a little bit of a highlight VOD for the next two minutes because I feel like I got everything I really wanted to say about being confident and using your character and your playstyle and mechanics. Well, my final game was Raze on Split, and this was actually my rank up game, and it was actually very, very intense in the end. I had some clutch moments. I kept double sashing on B, which works sometimes, but also was throwing some rounds, so you need to be a bit careful here. You don't want to do the same push every round, or your opponents will start to expect it and start playing for counters. The last clip I have from the final game, final round where I really actually had some impact. And let's see what I can do. Time for rotate. That's CT. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Nice little clutch for me there at the end. Comment what you want from me next and please like and subscribe. And this video that I'm showing you now is how to get better at Valorant and how I got to Immortal myself. These are the basic tips and I will post more soon.